guys, welcome back. Um, it's me again. I'm doing a get ready with me today. I'm actually off out, so I thought, you know what, in the process of getting ready to go out, why don't I show you guys what I do? Or what don't I show you guys what I wear? <laughs> and stuff like that. So I just thought, yeah, might as well get ready with you. You can get ready with me. Like, let's just have fun. So I won't chat too much because I always do. So before we get too much chatting, because obviously I'm going to talk a lot while we're getting ready, um, let's just get straight into it, okay? Today, actually, is quite a good video because I can do like a wear test sort of thing because I actually bought um, a concealer the other day from Primark and it's the liquid concealer, which is medium coverage um, and it's got vitamin E and aloe vera. That's how you say it. And I've got it in light beige. So obviously I'm going to try this today um, as a base on my eyelids. Um, to hold on my eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna open it. I should have really opened it beforehand, but oh well, you can watch me struggle because like it's really hard to open. So, yes, I'm gonna use this today as a base on my eyelids and um, see what it's like with my foundation see what it's like holding everything so obviously I will, go, I will let you guys know um, but let's get it going so anyone got any plans this weekend like this will probably be up what day is it today it's Thursday so this will be up like Friday so yeah what if you guys got planned for this weekend Obviously, you know like the things that I use, so I won't keep telling you guys. Um, but obviously, if I've got new things, I will mention it. Or if I'm using like different palettes, I'll tell you. But, I mean, you're gonna get sick and tired of me saying I'm using my purple sponge. So everything's always linked in the description box anyway. So if I ever did use anything different, I would obviously let you guys know. That is the base on so it's not bad it's like i picked up the color that suits like i didn't want anything light i wanted to just like match my skin tone so that's why obviously you can't really see it that much but it actually has covered really well um it's i think it would be a buildable sorry i'm just getting my powder i think it would be a buildable concealer so we'll see how it goes when we put it on top of our foundation so just to set it i'm just going to go in with my mua I do want to try a different powder and um, like just to see the difference because I've had this one for quite a while now and like um, I see a lot of people rave on about the I Heart Revolution one. I'm going to do a Primark, like the whole face Primark um, quite soon actually. I'm going to go and buy like the foundation, the concealer, the powder, everything so I can tell you guys like what I think about it. But for now, I'll just tell you what the concealer's like. So now we've set the eyes, I'm actually gonna go back in with my Morphe palette again, but I'm actually gonna also use my Primark. Um, it's the Amber Passion. So yeah, Amber Passion, three pounds, it's not bad. Sorry if it's a bit messy, but it looks like that. So it's got quite nice like brown colors because I'm gonna go for a um, brown smoky eye, but I'm gonna use black today, so. Fingers crossed it goes well. Like, I don't always go well with black eyeshadow, I really struggle. So I'm gonna try it, but I'm using like, I wanna use more dark browns. Where this one's got dark browns, but they're more like plums, and I don't wanna use a plum today. I'm wearing like a beige cardigan, so I'm gonna keep it like really neutral. So I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay one. And just to go obviously over the lids, I'm gonna go in with that color there. Yeah, like what is everyone doing today and then the weekend anyone got any plans like i know it's january so everyone's always like no money because it's a five week month just after christmas new year like don't get me wrong it's horrible Ugh. but has anyone got any lovely plans anyone going out anywhere let me know i'm just staying in Boy. So now I've done that, I'm actually gonna go in with this color here. 
and that's just going to go on my um, crease line. So I'm just going to dab into that and then that's literally, I'm just going over my crease line like that. into this side so that's literally only in the crease line that's all I've done with that color so I'm actually going to go into the um, Primark palette now and I'm going to use this color down here so it's like a like a, like a light brown kind of color and I, that's going to go in my creases not in my crease, sorry. In my corner to my crease. Oh, it's too early, sorry. So I'm just blending that out from the corner and then over my crease. So now I'm gonna go in with this brush and I'm gonna go in with a bit of a darker colour. Um, what colour that's darker in one of the palettes? Let's try that colour. So this is like, this colour here, it's like a dark brown, like grey colour. Let's try this one. I haven't used it yet. And this is just for the corner. Oh, it's quite a nice colour actually. So let me just pack a bit more on because I only did a little bit because I was too scared. So this is literally just for the corner. Yeah, that's a really nice colour. Pat it down. I need to get like a mirror that sits in front of me so I'm not like constantly going to the side. So I'm going to go back in with that colour and I'm going to go and do, oh, nearly dropped it this side. So far, like this palette that um, I was telling you about, the Morphe one, so far I really like it. Oh, I'm scared, do I do the black? Do I do the black? Oh, let's just do the black, otherwise if I don't do it, I'm gonna like wimp out every time. So there's a black right at the bottom here and I'm gonna dip into it gently first because you know what blacks are like. Look how much and I'm just going to take it in the corner and like literally gently blend it out. Have a look, see if it's working. Well, one, that little bit of black has gone a long way. But let's just lay that on the tables. I do like it because I like all it's done is deepen that smokiness that I actually wanted anyway so like as you can see it's still got the color around it there so I do really like that so I am going to carry on doing that but that's really 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 nice yeah that's actually really nice I do like it it's kind of like a really deep deep color which obviously that's what I wanted anyway. That's really nice, I love that. I actually really like how that's turned out. That is perfect, that's how I wanted it. I do really like that, brilliant. So I'm gonna actually use a bit of concealer and I'm just going to cre cut crease my eye. I think that's okay, I don't know. I'll slowly learn. That is perfect. So that's brilliant. So, so far I do really like this concealer. It's, it's going down well. Like it is definitely medium coverage. I'm actually going to go in with this color down here for the shimmer. So it's quite like a really, quite like a bright gold. I'm going to go in with my finger for that. I'll show you what it looks like. So that's what the colour looks like. So it's quite like nice. It's like a light colour. I'm going to apply that to the bit that I've concealed. Oh, that's really nice. It's 
especially with like the smoky bit on the side. Like that, that looks really nice. I'm actually so happy with myself today. Doing very well. So I'm gonna go in with this, it's like a, yeah, it's a clean brush, I actually washed it. Um, this brush here, so it's like fluffy on the end again. And I'm just gonna grab this color here from the Primark palette that I use and I'm just going to blend it, using it, sorry, to blend out the like lines that are in here. Like so. And I'm actually going to go in with this brush here, which had the black and gently, like literally, like a little dab into the black so I can just add that blackness back into my corner and then a little bit so I've blended all that I'm not going to carry on touching it now I'm going to like just let that set a little bit so I'm going to actually just quickly prime my face I'm going in with Rimmel London today An eight hour where it's lasting called last and finish day proof pore minimizing even skin tone skin perfecting so let's see what that's like today i have used it before and i do like it and i have actually i think i've used it once with my nyx i just gently massage it in but when you're rubbing it in i don't know if it's just my lighting it looks a bit purple. There's like not. I think it's just the lighting in here. But that's what that looks like. Like it's not sticky or anything. Like it's really soft. Like especially under here, like your pore area, it's really like nice and soft and like over my nose and that. So hopefully that's because it's covering my pores. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in today with my NYX again. So just gonna get my sponge. I have already wet it and I'm just going to apply that. So that is the foundation on, as you can see. It's not covered that spot, but it's covered other like spot scars. So, and like as well, I'm hoping that this concealer, when I put it under my eyes, you might see a difference like with the coloring of my eyes and like I've got a few freckles as well. And I'm gonna put it on top of that as well. But before I put the concealer on, I'm going to let the foundation seep in and I'm going to put on my eyelashes. Primark ones again. If I ever tell you, if I've got any different ones, I will tell you. But whatever, whenever I do a video, it will always be my Primark ones. So I'm just going to put glue on. So that took a little bit longer. Sorry guys, these are now put on and like, how much does that just make the look? Like it's just crazy what eyelashes can do. So I'm just going to, like I did last time, I'm just going to shape my eyebrow a little bit more on my arch, um, just to give it that bit more definition. I'm using my e.l.f. kit, which is like with a pomade and a powder, and my MAC angled brush. Perfect, that's all I'm doing. That's all I do with my eyebrows because obviously I've had them microbladed. I'm going to go over them with my Maybelline Brow Mascara. Like that. So that is the mascara on. Yeah, that is the eyebrows done. They look brilliant. So now the foundation kind of like seeped into my skin, I'm gonna go in with my um, primer concealer. I'm gonna go under the eyes. So like, yeah, it's a probably a medium to buildable coverage. I'm just gonna blend that in. I'm going to use this sponge because it has like a little flat bit on the end of it. I'm just gonna blend all that in. So that's what it looks like on my skin. So it's quite, it is like nice. I would say it's buildable because obviously you can still see the colouring. But I mean like, it is it is nice. I do like it. And let me just try like a little bit more just to see if we can see a difference. So I'll put a bit more on and let's blend that in. That 
that is beautiful. So yeah, definitely buildable, guys. So now I've done um, my concealer, I'm just going to set it. And I'm just going to use the end of that sponge again. And I'm just going to apply that to under my eyes. Oh, it's nice with the powder on top. Gives it that really smooth effect, it's lovely. So now we've done that, I'm just going to obviously do my bronzer. So I'm going to do the blush bar again. Like so, brilliant. On top of that, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Makeup Bronzer. That is the bronzer, done. Oh. So like, can you see, it's a really nice color. Keeping the bronzer, sorry, the Makeup Revolution one, and I'm just going to go in with my angled brush. That is the bronzer done. Um, before I do the highlighter, I'm just gonna go underneath um, on my lower lash line with some eyeshadow. So I'm just going to get my little brush and I'm going to go in with the color down there and put that on my lower lash line. And I'm also now gonna go in with a little bit of black to just go from the corner, so it keeps that smoky look. Like that. So that is the eye look, so that's what I've done for under the eyes. So as you can see, I've brought the black underneath. Like so. So now I've done the lower lash line, I'm now going to um, just put some highlighter on. Back in with my normal Anastasia Buffalo Glow Kit. And I'm probably gonna use, what color to use today? Probably Hot Sand and Amber Gold. Like that. It's a really nice, like, wet look. Down my nose. And just on my tip. And Cupid's Bay. That's perfect. So that's the bronzer, lower lash line done, and my highlighter. So to finish it off before I do my setting spray, I actually got a lip gloss from Primark as well to, um, the other day. So it's the, their high gloss and it's in Iconic Nude. Um, so I'm going to finish off the look with that today. So it's a flat end applicator which is really good you can see that's what it looks like so that's a good applicator and I'm just going to apply it I do like that and it just finishes it off like it just finishes the look off like it's just a nice gloss so guys oh one more thing let's spray I got that glow intensity. It looks like, I don't know if you can see, it's like really like glowy. Let's give that a spray. The spritzer on it, I must admit, is like really powerful. Like if I just, because like this squirted all on my head, but it's not like blended out. Like I don't just want a patch of gloss, like glitter on my head. But like, it's on my chest now, I don't know if you can see. So like, it's spritzers, but it's kind of like a bit, like I never really realized about it, but it's kind of like, I don't know if I could spray it. Like it's really like, powerful. So it's setting spray, so I've set the skin and I've got a bit of shimmer to it, which everyone loves. So this is, yeah, this is the final look. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, the, the concealer, I do really like it. It's set really nice on the skin. It looks good with like the eyeshadow. So yeah, I'm really gonna quite enjoy that and the lipstick. So I will be doing that makeup video of just Primark because they seem to be like a their game girls. 
this is what we want. So I hope you have enjoyed. Um, obviously, if you do like to see these videos, definitely give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, because in the new, like this year is my aim to do more videos for you guys. This is something I enjoy doing. So subscribe to see more, leave a comment um, and like it. And um, I'll put my Instagram down below. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I really hope you enjoyed. See you later.